It's the site ebuyersedge.com. It's an eBay misspelling search site. That, that's what it was originally. Uh, we've added uh, uh, not in title, in description, uh, searchability to it. Um, get into that. I'll try to do this relatively quickly to try and fit, in, fit it in one video anyway. Um, but here we go. Let's see. It may be a little easier if you look at this page. To, this is what the site is based off of. Um, we just I just added the uh, features on the home page to try to make things a little quicker for you to get started if you want to use the site um, but right here let's see what you would do is just enter in a keyword that you want to do a search for now this is set up by default for misspellings uh, so if you select none of these uh, options it, it'll search for misspellings you can exclude words in here any words you want to exclude um, you know you can use all these advanced search options but you don't have to you can uh, select the eBay category that you'd want to choose but I'm just going to leave that blank and I'll get uh, I'll skip this for now right here from notify me if new items are added um, first we'll just do a search just click here now tabs going to open up the idea behind searching eBay for misspellings is, is uh, fewer potential buyers or bidders will find them. So, um, you know, you, you know, you have a better sh chance of getting a good deal. Okay, um, let's see. You can see what was there 340 results. So there's quite a few. You know, you can narrow that down. As I said, well, you can see the majority are in video games. But um, but again, you can look through here and. and check out the results you know to see if there are any good are any good deals available at the moment um, but let's say you know if there was or if there wasn't that that would seem like a good search you like that search you know you, you would like to um, you would like to be updated about something like that well you could just uh, let's see do it again all you would have to do is you know again you can choose all these options here or just leave them all blank uh, again as I said it's set up by default to search for misspellings but um, you can select to search in description only in other words um, if, I, if I selected this option Nintendo would be somewhere in the description of the item but not in the title so th that, that sort of search is just in case you know um, the seller overlooked to put the main keyword or an important keyword anyway in the title but did include it in the description so that you know that's that may be another source of, of good deals um, but now right down here if you would select this and you can choose from this drop down menu I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at every 15 minutes um, let's see enter in my email address and let's see okay and uh, create a password just click search now okay here are the results again um, let's see what we got here let's see I had the wrong tab open to I may change that, you know, depending on what users think. If, if um, you'd like to see the results on eBay or just on uh, on eBuyer's Edge itself, you know, like this, rather than, um, you know, it may be confusing the extra tab opening up. Back to um, here. Now you can see um, new user has been registered. Please check your email to confirm registration. So you would go. check your email and well it's coming into spam but okay here's your message you know your, your uh, welcome email um, as you can see you just click on this link right here and then you can log in
Okay, I may, I may have goofed up a bit now. You can see that uh, it saved Nintendo twice. It shows your subscriptions, your saved searches. Um, once you confirm your um, account, then um, you know these, these are set up and you will start getting emails when an item is listed on eBay um, matching one of your searches. Uh, real quickly, this this T with a dash dash that represents a in description, not in title search. So I must have uh, that extra tab that showed uh, it was showing results for not in title searches. Um, I must have checked that I guess accidentally, but you can see now I have Nintendo saved um, as both a misspelling and a uh, I'll just call it not in title search. But now once you have these saved. You can just click on edit and then you can change how often you want eBuyer's Edge to check eBay for you. Um, you can exclude words here, minimum or maximum price, which site you want to search, the category you can narrow it down, like for Nintendo. Let's see, we have video games. Um, and just put this here. Now, if you want to exclude more than one word, you would just put a comma in between them but then just click save and now you can see receive updates every five minutes and you can see my the exclude words and the eBay category um, okay now now back to the home page we set the home page up just to try to give you a jump you know to try, try to get you a head start on on your saved searches you can see here we've got all the eBay, uh, the most general eBay categories. I uh, went ahead and added a few more specific categories like ties and, and golf and fragrances, but um, w which we may just separate and make another table for more specific searches, but keep this intact with all the, the eBay the major categories for eBay. And, okay, let's say I'm interested in electronics. I would just click here then say I was interested in a Blackberry you just click on the link on the keyword and now with the white background those are misspellings with the darker background those are uh, not in title searches let's see there's no results for Blackberry at the moment um, but let's say you know I think it's a promising search anyway I could select that mm, select calculator Amplifier. Now again, I could I could save these as uh, um, not in title searches as well. That's why they're each one is duplicated. But okay, let's say that that's that's all for now. And I'll just click on you know select uh, how often I want eBuyers Edge to search. Click save searches. eBay. But um, Okay, now you can see uh, confirming the saved searches. You can go to your control panel, and there they are. Again, the T with the dash dash uh, represents a not in title search. And again, you can just click on any of them to edit to decide on how you want to edit your searches. You would check the emails that are sent out to you. I've given it some time. You can see I've got quite a few here. Now this is not what you want. You, you don't want so many emails sent out. Uh, if you get them, you know that, that means your search is not specific enough. But you can click on one of these, and you know obviously you can click here. This will take you to eBay to show you the results. But now if this is not specific enough, you know you can uh, maybe use some of the words in this title to add. Let's see what is it an uh, amplifier search I believe um, y you could add some to the exclude words field here uh, to further narrow it down uh, the the price you know edit in here even the category but um, you know after after a few emails of you doing that you know you'll have a very specific search will give you very specific results